Hello, welcome to this video short designed for planners to give them the advanced part that Oracle obviously forgot when they designed ASCP. Um, start with the uh, supply chain uh, workbench, which is the, the, the famous form that the planners love to hate. Um, I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to select a particular organization. Um, and then we go to our plan. Uh, I'm going to pick a particular plan here. It's the ATP plan that I'm going to use. So we're going to just find that plan. Uh, I'll just scroll to the right and select the plan. Go to supply and demand. Uh, we get the, the find, the clunky old find, whereby you can say, okay, I'm in org equal percent M1. Um, and I just put in my particular organization I'm interested in. I could put my plan or I could put other varying factors in there, order type, etc., etc. I can then um, choose to export, but the problem is um, I've got these all these subforms where there's really important information, like items, lead time, uh, safety stock, you know, all these good things that should actually be within the same row. Uh, and then let me choose what I can I, I need to report on. So imagine if you were to export, you'd go into export here, and then you'd wait some time. Imagine you had a, a I don't know, 10,000 lines is not not improbable for a planner, and they could be stuck here for three or four minutes while this is exporting. In this particular case, we've only got a few hundred, so it will probably complete in about 15 seconds. Um, but still, not very adequate, and also. Uh, when I get the sheet, um, it's not formatted. Uh, columns are not the right width. Uh, sometimes the format here, I have to change into number, particularly if you've got things like um, ISBN, if you're a bookseller. Um, and look, it, all of these have to be expanded and set to the right format. And plus, we can't get the information we want, like lead time, safety stock, etc., pegging. It's all, it, it's just not advanced. So we'll close that. And we go back to, to our planner workbench. I've enabled uh, something much more exciting. Here on actions, I've added uh, to the menu, I've added the blitz report where we can pretty much do what, exactly what we want uh, and turn us into proper planners. So here we go, ASCP tab. I've written a few reports. These, each of these reports takes me a few minutes. So if you want to ask, if you're already a blitz user, then you can ask me how to do them. Uh, this particular one I've got here is just basically a, a planner workbench uh, export uh, and I've added some parameters as well so here's the SQL not not too difficult I can share share with you that um, the plan name the planner the product the make or buy we can multi select on this particular one um, in fact all of these values we can multi select different values so we can have multiple values so it's a bit like the among when you come to use the planner workbench and the suggested start date if we're talking about planned orders if we were to run this uh, report uh, here, we've, we can default values as well, so we can save time, which is which is brilliant. We can send the output to the uh, to an email, uh, which you would expect. Uh, we run the report; it takes literally seconds. The, the, the sheet that comes up is properly formatted. It, it understands the data types. None of this uh, transposing to different numbers. It's all properly formatted. And we've got everything we need. We've got our lead time. We've got our variable lead time. We've got fixed lead time. We can add a safety stock. We've got a source org. We basically got everything we need to do to plan by. We can add uh, pegging in here if you want. And I think I've shown you on a previous video. We've got the pegging uh, capability to add within here. So we've got all we need as a planner in one sheet. We don't need to stitch all those sheets together anymore. Okay, so that's that was the first thing I wanted to show you. And that's all from, from the, the planner workbench. We were able to launch this uh, particular report. Now, let's say we wanted to run a different report. Let's say uh, we wanted to just run a, I don't know, we, we wanted to do an exception report. And one of the um, exception reports that we, that we might want, I'm a bit of a typo, I think, SCP tab is um, we might like to have an exception report. Now, those exception queries you get on the plan of workbench are pretty slow and not really very precise. So I've created a, a different uh, type of uh, exception. This particular one is for late replenishment, but we can easily add a variable to this. And what that will do is it will immediately give you all of the exceptions, and then you can email these, because these are concurrent requests anyway. 
so you could send them to to all of the different planners at the start of the day so they could be working on the reasons why they're they're late replenishment for the sales order and you know again they could include the pegging in here so that they, they could see whether there are real reasons for for this particular exception and each of these reports is straightforward so this particular one i i took from uh the standard uh, planner workbench query itself just just to give me the foundation for the sql uh and it's something you can do if you if you were to install blitz you don't have to be an sql expert you can simply go and um you know you could stand on uh, a particular query you can make a query for this so if we, if we went back and we went to let me just close the blitz report uh, which we invoked earlier and i'll just close this here and then here we've got this this function called query um, so th this is all part of the standard pl uh, planner workbench and i created one here under exception and if we looked at that particular query it's, it's the exception for days late for replenishment so we can see here the exception type is this one now you could stack them in here as well but you can also stack them in the blitz query and then you add the parameters as required but when you run this you then have this uh, count and then you have to right click and go exceptions all and the philosophy is that you were then to action each of your exceptions as a team and then you can drill into supply and demand but my philosophy is that you just basically run one blitz report you call it ASP exceptions and it has everything within the one particular query I mean why would you want to drill down in so many areas uh, plus because it's a, it all is supported by the concurrent manager you could just schedule this and have it running every day you don't need to send this to a data warehouse you don't need to send it to uh, Tableau or OBIA, OBIA whatever you want to send it to it's here it's all in the plan already so the point is that the information is there, but unfortunately Oracle didn't add the advanced part. Now we are adding it with this uh, free to use tool called Blitz. Um, I'm here to support you in anything you want to do around the planning side, in fact, around any of the supply chain or financial side, I can help you create these reports. There, I say that the system comes with 30 seeded reports. These are just a few that I've created over the last few days. Uh, there's a metric here as well. So if you want to, to optimize your planning, um, you need to, to know where you came from in order to understand where you can improve. And this particular one is uh, looking at the, the original promising dates against a particular sales order versus how many planned slippage dates we had. And then we get the, uh, the metric versus the historical planned, the historical ship and what the actual ship. Uh, so this was the schedule ship date now, this is a, the historical, and that was the original promise. So you can see here we did quite well, but in some cases you, you would imagine uh, they're going to be uh, outliers, and here we go, we start to, start to find them. So all very good. A planner needs to understand how they can optimize and where they went wrong. Uh, it, it might be out of their control, so it's better that we give the information and therefore they can use it. That's what I call the advanced part of ASCP, and that's what's been missing. All of these requests are going to the standard queues. Uh, they're completely schedulable. You can uh, email them, you can report them, you can send them to Excel. Um, you can add them to each form. You can, using a very simple function, I'll show you very quickly, because it took me literally two minutes to add this personalization. It's a couple of uh, rows, which, which I've written a blog on, uh, on the Enginatic site. Uh, we basically add a function, uh, we call it, we give it a special function, it calls uh, Blitz Report, and that's it. Two or three minutes set up, and the job's done. So, if you'd like to learn more about how you can add the advance back to ASCP, then uh, my name's Glenn, Glenn Whelan, I work for Enginatics. Uh, by all means, uh, give me a call or send me an email, and uh, we'll take it further, and I'll, I'll show you what we can do here. Thank you.